Is MS in the UK expensive? How much do I need to spend to pursue my higher education in the UK? Is it possible to stay back after the completion of my course? If these are the questions running through your head, the YouTube algorithm has got you to the right place. Hello aspirants, today we're going to be talking about the cost of your education in one of the most popular destinations for MS abroad, the United Kingdom. Let's begin. Is getting an acceptance letter from one of the most popular universities in the UK a cherished dream for you? If it is, and if you want this dream to come true, you need to start planning such that there are no surprises in your MS in the UK journey. This planning involves but is not limited to learning about the expenses that you will incur while you study abroad. The major chunk of these expenses can be divided into two categories. One, tuition fees for the universities and two, living costs and expenses. UK, like any other country, is home to two types of universities. One is public universities which are owned by government bodies or receive some government funding. Oxford University, Cambridge University, University College London, Edinburgh University and Manchester University are examples of these. Then there are private universities owned by individuals or private institutions. The University of Buckingham, the University of Law St. Mary's University and Regents University London are examples of private universities in the UK. Let's imagine you hit the gold mine and receive an acceptance letter from Oxford University. How much would you need to spend on the tuition fees? Let's find out. According to their website, an international student needs to pay anywhere between £27,840 to £39,010 for their degree. That translates to roughly about 27.4 lakhs to 38.5 lakhs in Indian rupees. Here's a detailed table with list of tuition fees for some other popular universities in the UK. Feel free to take a screenshot for your reference. So it's safe to assume that you will need to shell out about £30,000 for your MS in the UK. So now that you know how much the tuition is going to cost, let's talk about the living expenses in the UK. According to the official website of Oxford University, the living cost in 2022 sum up to be around £1,755 a month, which translates to 20.7 lakh rupees per year. When we looked up estimated prices on the internet, we found that living in London will cost you around 10.45 lakhs per annum without paying rent. A single bedroom apartment will cost you around £1,751 a month in the centre of the city. Living costs and estimated rent in other popular cities are summarised in this table. Again, take a screenshot if you want to. That's almost everything that a master's in UK will cost you. These numbers might seem big, but if you think about the opportunities that will come your way after graduation, you will understand that this is a good investment. Speaking of opportunities, let's talk about work permits in the UK. After completion of your master's in the UK, you can stay and work or look for work in the UK at any skill level for a maximum period of two years. In this period, you are free to explore the myriad of opportunities that UK provides to its students. To avail this opportunity, you will need to apply for a graduate route visa before your student visa expires. You'll also need to pay a visa fees of £700 and an immigration health surcharge at full rate of £624 per year. Once the graduate route visa expires, you will need to apply for a different visa such as the Tier 2 General Work Visa. A Tier 2 General Work Visa requires you to have an employment offer as well as a minimum salary level. You can use the two years provided by the graduate route visa to fulfill the requirements before applying. We can talk about Tier 2 visas in a different video. Do let us know in the comment section if you would want to know more about that. Hope we were able to answer your questions about your MS in the UK. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends. Also make sure you drop your queries, comments and feedback in the comment section and our experts will get back to you. At Yorkit, we have a team of experts dedicated to answering your queries. So make sure you tell us in the comment section what you would like us to talk about next. Take a moment to check out our channel for more valuable information, our Yorkit Connect series where Yorkit aspirants who actually made it talk about their success stories, tips and experiences, many expert interviews, tutorials and live streams outlining the nitty gritties of studying abroad. Next video dropping soon, until then stay tuned for more, good luck aspirants.